Welcome to iVerdiverse. This is Cry Wolf. It's a black IPA from Black Sheep Brewery and quite excited little boy. This is 5%, 500 mils. David, just get it open and get it into a glass. And it was 170 from Tesco's. Yeah, which is just for a beer, you know. I kind of, are they heavily discounting it to get it into the, because that price is ridiculous. And that wasn't even on off. It wasn't in a deal or anything. That's, it was 170. That's it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I thought a, you know, dimple glass was befitting of a black IPA. And it is as black as your father's at. There's a little bit of light bleeding through the bottom, but not much. There we go. No, black. Yeah, black. Okay, black. we've got a creamy head, sort of loose bubbles. Okay, what have we got on the nose? Okay, there's that grapefruit. So, I'm finding that IPAs fall into two categories. You have the citrus IPA and the sort of fruity Dundee cake IPA. So, um... Fruity IPAs would be proper job. Proper job. Yeah, it's a really bitter, but a, you know that grapefruity aroma. Um, and Shepherd Neem's I, Indian Pale is the sort of fruit cake. So this sits in the sort of grapefruity citrus aroma. Citrus aroma. Citrus camp. If I was an actor, you'd fire me. <laughs> Fluffy by lights. Okay. Right, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Okay. So this isn't that mind scramble because there's a lot of sort of toasted malts going on in there. Faint coffees, faint chocolate, but more more smoky than that. Very meaty. More shades of marmite, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm sticking with that marmite analogy because this is going to be divisive. You're either going to like it or you're not going to like it. This is a big flavour. There's this little bit of coffee when you, uh, smoky coffee. Um, faintest bit of chocolate, but more so like a smoky coffee. And then it fades to a grapefruit on the back. But it is so unlike an IPA. Yeah, you, you, you I gotta go in again. This is so unusual. It's difficult to describe. Okay, let's read the back of the bottle. Let's see what I should be getting. Okay. Expect the unexpected. Mm, yeah, yeah. A fierce bite of roasted malt. Well, yeah, there's that smoky flavour. Meets a gnarly tropical bitterness of New World hops. I don't, I, that's, that's the grapefruity. Well, there's the citrusy, yeah. There's a tro tropical bitterness. No, I wouldn't say that it's like a fruity. It's not like a mango-y. Yeah, no. It says it's a uh, fierce IPA. Well, it's a big flavour, brewed with a pack of North American hops. Oh, pardon me. I mean, I I often see hop varieties on there, and um, my beer experience isn't enough that when I read a hops... I can understand what I'll be getting. Um, some of you guys out there will know. It's, it's like guys who look at wines. If they know, you know, it's got a, uh, you know, it's uh, Cabernet Sauvignon or Pinot Noir. Right, right. You, you'll understand the grape and you'll know what you should be getting. Well, some of you guys can do that with hops. You'll know what you're getting. I'm not that sophisticated yet. Don't think I'm going to be that sophisticated. My palate isn't that sophisticated yet. Okay. So... Yeah, I don't know what to make of this. Interesting. Let's do the two type of pints rule. One that you'll have, one that you'll have another of. It's a, such a weird, and I'm going with weird, flavour. It's not unpleasant, it's not foul, it's not revolting, but it is so unusual to me 
that I might not get another one. Does that make at all sense? Yeah. Or I'm going to have another one just to see. Perhaps it's like olives. You have to have try them a few times. Before. Well, yeah. First time I tried olives, I hated them. Couldn't understand what the fuss was about. And someone says, you're going to try a load. You've got to eat so many. Yeah, well, many bottles of wine and many olives later. I quite like olives now. Okay. Over to you guys. Tell me what you think. Uh, what do you think of black IPAs? Have you had many? Uh, have you tried Cry Wolf? Um, one complaint I've got is that the sort of the label's really nice, but really difficult to take pictures of for your thumbnails. Okay, I am waffling. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this and contemplate my decision. Have I come to a decision? That it's not, weird. Not bad. Weird. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>